Hello everybody, welcome back to Furcon Technologies and in today's video we'll be going over this packet tracer here, a pretty interesting one on our hands here, configuring layer 3 switching and inter VLAN routing. So a little bit of the layer 3 switches, we can see an explanation here. So a multi-layer switch like a model of is a multi-layer switch called Cisco Catalyst 3650 is capable of both layer 2 switching and the layer 3 routing. So they can do both. One of the advantages of using a multi-layer switch is the dual functionality. So pretty much it can do both. <laughs> a benefit for a small uh, to medium-sized company would be the ability to purchase a single multi-layer switch instead of separate switching separate switching and routing networking devices so pretty much that would just save you know a little bit of money if you just purchase a multi-layer switch as opposed to purchasing a router and a switch capabilities of a multi-layer switch include the ability to route from one vlan to another using multiple switched virtual interfaces svis as well as the ability to convert a layer 2 switch port to a layer 3 interface. All right, so let's get straight into this here. Um, so we have in part one, you will configure the Gigabit Ethernet 02 on switch MLS here and verify that you can ping another layer 3 address. On MLS, configure G02 as a router port and assign an IP address according to the addressing table. I'll just make sure that we got this correctly. 209, 165, 200, 225. 209, 165, 200. Okay, cool. All right, so um, I think let's go ahead and do this right here. Options, preferences, and let's go ahead and say always show port labels okay yeah like i thought uh, this is going to be the g02 interface so all right so interface g02 um no switch port it pretty much just turns this port into a router port um IP address 209-165-200-255-255-255-255-252 Okay, cool. And let's go ahead and do ping 209-165-200-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-255-
Interface of your line ten. Um, so let's do IP address one nine two one six eight ten two fifty four two five five two five five two five five dot zero. I'm so sorry, my hitter just turned on. Sorry for the background noise. Um, alrighty, so we got 192.168.10.54.255.255.255.0. Go ahead, hit enter. Now shot it. Just in case. Um, and then it also tells us configure and activate the SUA interfaces for VLANs 10, 20, 30, and 99. So we need to do for all of them. Alright. Uh, let's see here. So, okay. Interface VLAN 20. Uh, I'm not going to retype the IPv command, so I'm just going to go ahead and up arrow and just change the third octet to 20. Um, hit enter. Um, shift. Interface VLAN 30. Do same thing, change this to 30, shut, interface, VLAN 99, IP address, change this to, Just change this to 99, oh shut, perfect. All right, so we have configured the SCIs, all right. Now, um, let's go ahead and configure trunking on MLS. Trunk configuration differs slightly on the layer 3 switch. On the layer 3 switch, the trunking interface needs to be encapsulated with the dot one q protocol. However, it's not necessary to specify VLAN numbers as it is when working with the router and some interfaces. Um, on MLS configure interface G01, so let's go ahead and enter interface G01, uh, switch port mode trunk, switch port. And we're going to go ahead and ex encapsulate it with the dot one q protocol. And just like it's mentioned up above, um, we do not need to specify, um, as you can see here, we don't need to specify the VLAN number as when, as if we were working with uh, the router um, and the router sub interfaces. So pretty much this is a different implementation of inter-VLAN routing as opposed to the router on a stick. Um, let me know if you want me to do a router on a stick tutorial. I'll be more than happy to do that. All right. Um, yeah, so we will need to configure a native VLAN on switch one as well. As you can see, it shows that for now the native VLAN is one. Uh, which is pretty much what we're instructed to do here. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, let's go ahead and sub interface configure terminal. Actually, let's do show IP interface brief. Uh, G01, okay, it's up, up, perfect. Configure T, configure T. Um, interface G01, switch port mode. Trunk, switch port, uh, trunk, negative, VLAN, and shut that. Okay, 
So now if you go back to MLS, it won't show us that anymore. Yeah, as you can see, I'm blocking Gigabit Ethernet 1 on VLAN 99 for consistency restored. All right, uh, let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and see show IP route. We do not have any routing. Uh, because the default gateway is not set as you can see which also tells us the IP routing is not enabled Which we will need to go ahead and do manually. We just need to type in IP routing um, And the reason why I said the default gateway is not set just tells us that I the um, IP routing is not enabled is because usually you as you may or might not know, you set the default gateways on um, the devices that do not route, right? So for example, on the PC3, you would set a default gateway and telling the PC, hey, if you want to send a frame somewhere outside of our local network, you would need to send it to this router and specify the router's IP address. And so that will be the PC's default gateway. So the same thing you would do for Let's say if you were to configure an SVI here, right, as a management, uh, on a management VLAN, you would tell, for example, you would tell this that, hey, switch to, uh, switch, switch three, your default gateway is the IP address of G01 on MLS, all right? So for example, if anyone wanted to um, remote into the switch from outside of this network, they would use that IP address and the switch three would know uh, where to send the packets to, which is the default gateway and the G in the IP address of G01. Um, okay, let's see now. Show IP route and you can see now we have uh, routes here. So you can see we have directly connected routes uh, as specified by C. You can also see it here. Uh, in the legend here, C connected. Um, so 192.168.10.24 is directly connected. 192.168.20.20 slash 24 is directly connected to VLAN 20, 30, VLAN 30, 99, VLAN 99. And obviously this one is connected to uh, the G02 interface. Um, okay, so now we just need to verify from PC0, pink PC3, or MLS. Wait, from PC0, pink, pink PC3, or MLS to verify connectivity. Connectivity within VLAN um, 10, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to ping PC3 from PC0. So let's go ahead and ping 192.168.10.1. Oh, not the right one. That's for PC1. It's supposed to be PC2. PC3. Okay, cool. So that pings. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and now from PC1 to PC4. So that's going to be ping 192.168.22. And yes, we got that going. Perfect. From PC2, we'll ping from PC3. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. PC, PC2. Never mind. So PC2. We will ping PC5, so 192.168.32, and that is going through. We're also asked to ping from S1, ping S2, and S3, our MLS to verify connectivity with VLAN 99. Let's go ahead and from PC1, uh, from S1, ping S2 now, 
um, pink or do pink 192 192 168 See, goes through that three should go through as well. Yeah, it goes through perfect. And let just for the culture, <laughs> um, okay, alrighty. Uh, oh, what was I going to do? Sorry, I got distracted here by notification. Um, let's go ahead and ping MLS as well. So that would be 254. And that should go through two. And it does. Perfect. All right. So now, to verify interview and routing, ping devices. Okay, let's, let's just... just Let's just from PC zero here. Let's just go ahead and ping uh, twenty two. That should go through. Um, let's see. Yep. Okay, it goes through. And then let's go ahead and ping thirty two. Yep, it goes through. Perfect. All right. So, and then from any device, cloud. Let's see, what's the IP address of the cloud here? From PC0, I'll just go ahead and ping. Um, ping. I believe it's 226. something a little more fun here that is IPv6 um, obviously nothing too different with IPv6 right um, just the IPv6 addresses and the command to enable the IPv6 routing um, so yeah let's go ahead and get straight into this all right so um, let's go ahead and start with enabling the IPv6 routing. So IPv6 cast routing. Um, okay, so now we're gonna need to go ahead and configure IPv6 addressing on SVI for GLAN 102030. 102030 and according to the addressing table. Okay, so here it was 1020 30 and 99 okay here is just 10 20 30 okay got you alrighty so let's go ahead and do that interface VLAN 10 oh um well yeah interface VLAN 10 IPv6 address 2001 db8 ACAD 10 colon colon 1 slash Okay, let's go back here. Um, so we'll do the same thing to the land 20. Bring that IP up. Um, change this to 20. Um, all right, so and then bring this thing up again, and then bring this up and change this to a 30. All right, so and then last but not least, we need to enable it on G IPv6 address. We need to set up an IPv6 address on the G02 interface. So, IPv6 address. Um, we can actually just pull this up and just change this to a 
2001 VB8 ACAD A Colin Colin 1 F64. Perfect. Alright, and so even though the packet tracer tells us 100%, in real world, there is no packet tracer. So we're gonna need to test this out in real world. So let's go ahead and ju do just that. Uh, from PC3 ping MLS to verify connectivity within VLAN 10. Obviously, this is gonna be a um, IPv6 addresses that we're pinging. Okay. So from PC3, command prompt, ping, we're pinging MLS, right? Alrighty, so we're going to go ahead and ping um, 2001 db8 acat 10 colon colon 1 goes through command prompt ping 2001 db8 acat 20, column, column 1, goes through, ping, db, uh, double 1, db, 8, a 30, column, column 1, goes through, okay, so from, let's say, from PC3, we're gonna go ahead and ping. Okay, goes through, perfect. Goes through, perfect. Um, and then now let's go ahead and ping the cloud here, which is gonna be 2001 db8 a a two. might fail on the first one but should go through on every single other one yeah there you go all right so we have successfully configured interview and routing i hope this video was a bit of a help for you all and yeah i hope you all enjoyed it um so if this video was helpful for you go ahead and you know hit the like button if you didn't like this video adds that much Go ahead, the, go ahead and hit the dislike button, it's totally fine. Uh, if you all could go ahead and subscribe to my channel, that would be amazing as well. Um, I am currently working on um, my CCNA certification. I'm currently studying for it. I have an exam coming up. Um, but after that, I'm planning on uh, taking advantage of uh, the shorts feature and maybe making um, you know some one minute IT or CCNA specific you know explanation videos. Let me know what you all think about this idea down below and maybe I'm not even gonna wait till uh, I take my CCNA maybe I'll just start doing it you know right away. So who knows um, but yeah thank you so much for watching. Peace be upon you all and yeah, have a good day.